plan to stop the multi-million dollar renovation of the Astrodome has failed after being stalled for weeks on the floor of the house. The Astrodome bill did not make it out of committee. The bill would have given voters a chance to have their say on a $105 million county plan to repurpose the dome using taxpayer money, hotel taxes and parking revenue. Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold joining us live now with more on what happens next. Robert, this is an apparent victory for County Judge Ed Emmett. The dome can move forward in earnest now that that bill, as you mentioned, has died. Yeah, that's a tough one. I'm kind of split on that one. Houstonians have been split on what to do with what was once called the eighth wonder of the world. Keep it or tear it down. Part of history now for our city. County commissioners came up with a plan to spend $105 million to raise the dome's floor, creating nine acres of enclosed space and an underground parking garage, all of which can generate money for the county. The OTC and the auto show and the boat show and all the other festivals and gatherings that have already said, when's it going to be ready? When can we start you know, renting that nine acres. But State Senator John Whitmire said not so fast. Put it to a vote of the public. And he filed a bill that would force the county to get voter approval before spending any money on the dome. It's a dream, and you shouldn't spend taxpayer dollars on a dream. Whitmire's bill sailed through the Senate, but hit a brick wall in the House. The bill got sent to the County Affairs Committee, which is chaired by State Representative Garnett Coleman. The Astrodome is a symbol of our can-do spirit. I want is left as a symbol of what my city is and has been. The bill never got out of Coleman's committee, never went to a vote in the House, so it died. Whitmire argued voters already rejected one plan for the dome and should be allowed to have a say in how taxpayer dollars are spent. Whitmire also feels this money could be better spent elsewhere. If we had all of our other services taken care of, I might say, all right, go ahead and take a chance. But we got serious problems. Emmett says the plan is to turn the dome into a money maker, which will help offset the costs of improving and maintaining NRG Park as a whole. And in order to do that, we either have to use property tax or we have to generate revenue in NRG Park. And the dome is the revenue generator. Now, the county judge also adds that they will not have to borrow money nor raise taxes to fund the plan for the dome. Whitmire's bill did get a second chance when it was attached to another bill, but that, too, failed to pass. Reporting live from NRG Park, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.